Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, oh, a lot of stuff happened, but the main thing is we went into the mystery channel again and actually saw two awakenings. Oh boy, things are getting more and more exciting. So, we still have to see what is going on, and we have to figure things out. We have a mystery in our hands, it's time to solve it. So, with everything done, I think we're just going to bed. We are tired, it's raining tonight, something may appear on TV. Oh, okay, you should go back to your room and check the TV. Okay, let's, let's, let's watch the TV, yes. I forgot we have to check that. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Might as well. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal mm. amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. I agree. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. All right, let's see. Let's turn it off. Shouldn't you turn off the light? Oh, here it is. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. Seems to be a woman. It looks like she would. Oh, no, 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 no. She's wearing a kimono. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, God. My heart just dropped. No. Please let not. Please let it not be Yukiko. Please stop introducing characters just to kill them off. Please let that not be Yukiko. Please let it be another girl wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. God, no, 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 no. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? Oh! The image disappeared. Yeah, we should not enter here. We can't fit through there. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Oh my god. Things are getting hectic. Hey, Igor. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Okay. I have summoned you within your dreams. So what's going on? Since you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. Pleasure to meet you again, Igor. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Okay. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Okay. Hold on to this. Are you giving me the... What are you giving me? Obtain the velvet key. Oh, yes. Figured. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Okay. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. All right. There is but one prize for this assistance. That being... You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. I will. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Okay. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Ooh. Compared to that of others, 
It is very special. All right. So we get another wild card, obviously. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Hmm. Hmm. Empty. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. So we're learning about the social links. Good. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Mm. Controls one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. Yeah. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Are we getting abilities in this game? Since it wasn't a thing in Persona 3. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> I look forward to it as well. Till we meet again. Till we meet again, Igor. Away I go. Nice. Saturday, 16. Still rainy. It's almost raining every day. Yo. Hey, Broske. You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. I agree. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Right. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. They're really doing it really quick. Even They're not even something waiting. about that place that's killing the victims. <laughs> I just noticed <laughs> Yosuke's bike <laughs> says Atlas. <laughs> it's Atlas brand. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. Yeah. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Right. I'm with you. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It's hard to believe as it is, even though we we've been to that world. Uh, it has to be us. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. Hell yeah. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Oh. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Ah. Uh -huh. Persona, wasn't it? Yeah. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Could be. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. It doesn't matter who was first or not. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. We got this. Well, let's do our best. Right. Let's do it, buddy. There was so much mystery swirling around. Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Is this the first social link? Is it? Yes, it is! That's just the Awakening of Persona 3. Yeah, it's still the same. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou has established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. So he's Magician, okay. Yosuke's the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the strength in your heart strength, the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. Mm. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Okay. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links is this bond with Yosuke. 
is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? What? Social links. So they're, they're called social links this time. Again, they're not called confidants. They have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knocked down ally during battle. <clears throat> Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Let's go. Chie, what's up? Uh, Chie, um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Yeah, sorry about that. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Fuck no, it is Yukiko. Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey. Is that stuff you were talking about for real? Yeah. You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. It is. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. I think so as well. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago mm -hmm. too. I agree. Yeah, that's... that's... The only reason why I picked it up, because like if it was their normal clothes, it was gonna be harder to tell. But like the kimono, like you could see a little bit of pink in the kimono and the long black hair. I'm like, oh, that looks like Yukiko. I got worried, so I emailed <clears throat> her last night, but she hasn't responded. Oh no, Let, we have to save her. I called her earlier in the evening though, and she said she'd be at school today. I. <sighs> Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. <sighs> you summed up the information you gained in the other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Most likely that seems to be the case. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Mm-hmm. Give her another call. Please. Not good. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko san inside that place? I believe so. Stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. I wish that would be the case. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. The mom has to pick up or somebody, right? Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Is she? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Oh, what? It was her? She was over at the inn. Oh, my God. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, <sighs> this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> oh, my God. Then who's the person in the TV? She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Why are you being mad at me at him? She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Yeah. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Mm -hmm. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Right. Sounds like a plan. Cause that is weird then. If she's here, then who's the person in the... Explain to Chie in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, 
I'd never have believed a story like that. I mean, who would? Yeah, Far fetched as it. it is. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. There's people here, though. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Ooh, that sucks. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Hmm. I got it. Come here a sec. Hmm? What's up? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. Okay. A wall? I tried beckoning Teddy over. Ah! Something bit you. Oh, Teddy, what the fuck, bro? What's wrong? He bit me! idiot dude is that a bite mark are you okay i'm okay <sighs> i'm fine that's good sheesh that stupid bear must have done it don't call him stupid come on hey you we know you're in there oh, oh is this a game oh my lord teddy oh no, it's not a game can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like always. Oh my god. You know this what a- This land feels so barren. <laughs> Teddy, we're serious. Stop with the bear puns. They're getting a little unbearable. Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? Y'all just gonna ignore my pun like that? Well, kinda, yeah, dude. Like- Nah, they just rather ignore that. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that that was pretty horrible. Okay. I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Huh. Hmm. I was hmm confused then. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Yeah, better to give her a heads up. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Mm hmm. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Good. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Right. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. I hope so, too. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right. Here it is. Exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. Don't forget to watch tonight. I won't. Is it really Yukiko who appeared at last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Oh boy. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. Mm. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Exactly. <sighs> I know. We have to find the reason, or how, or anything. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case. There's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? <sighs> you know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. Yeah. But then a it girl was just killed. I I had my theories that it was either like the guy or the woman who did it, but then this girl side, so no, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Okay, what about the guy? Remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. And that's true, she would have no motive. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Mm-hmm. I agree. Got a point there. What about the guy? Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. 
No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. <sighs> yeah, but he'd have no reason also to murder the kid. He's been working in the city for the past six months. <sighs> Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. Mm. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Mm. That is weird. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. What? He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. Yeah, that one's the one boggling my mind. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She just found the corpse, though. That's the thing. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Yeah. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. But now Yukiko's showed up, but they don't know that, obviously. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Yep, it is. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. How? And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Mm -hmm. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <coughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the only logic. Um, what about that ki mm, the kid? The kid, the kid that asked Yukiko. If we can place that kid that asked Yukiko that got rejected and like was so mad about it, <coughs> and Yukiko's now being targeted, if we can find any evidence that um. He asked Saki Konishi out as well. But then why would he kill the woman? That makes no sense either. <sighs> mm, this is really puzzling. I don't know. I feel I have to check the... the... It's raining through the night again. You should check the Midnight Channel tonight too. Yes. Alright. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Uh, we have to check. Oh, it's a cutscene too. <gasps> Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. What? Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I keep prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. Whoop. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Huh? Was that a palace? That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Yeah. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? I agree. And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? No. What's going on? I don't know. Uh, I feel like we have to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko-san. Tomorrow's Sunday. First thing in the morning. I agree. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. It's had to go to bed early tonight. We have to. We have to get on top of that. Sunday. Let's go. We have to get on top of this. 
Oh, okay. Look at that drip. Okay. My man out oh, here. Good morning. Ooh. Ready to conquer the world and the ladies. Seems that only Nanako is here. I'm up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. Aww. He said he's gonna be late. <sighs> if you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. I, I I'll am. be fine by myself. Are you sure? Don't open the door to strangers. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Be careful, Nanako. Please. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? I'm- I'm conflicted. <sighs> you decide to go out. I guess so. I'm so conflicted, man. Oh. Yo. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Yo, my bro out here looking so clean with that drip. Okay. Take a look at these. Huh! We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. Yosuke, people are looking. So, which one strikes your fancy? The katana, obviously. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. <laughs> As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. You're gonna use both? Kind of like this? Calm it down. Stop waving those around, please. You're gonna slice someone. Lady in the back is like, What are you kids doing? Ah, oh, my arm! My arm! Oh, sorry! Sorry, my arm! What, what, what the hell? Oh, I thought the blade was fake! No, you stupid idiot! My arm's on the floor! I'm sorry! God, I'll just buy some glue and reattach. What are you doing? Ah, I'm out of here! Fuck you, Ness! Uh, Yosuke. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. Or like this! You're not gonna learn. You're gonna cut someone else's arm. Someone else just walks up. Oh, bro! Oh, my arm! God damn it! Did it again! Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, look. stupid kids and stupid swords. Thought it was fake. Oh. What about this? Another one just walks. Oh, God, God, you stabbed me. God, God damn it. What does keep happening? Sure, I'm going to have to ask you to come in for stabbing that person and Two chopping all these young males found one armed with multiple weapons requesting immediate back. Oh, my God. And for cutting these people's arms and stabbing them. Huh? Oh crap! I mean, no, 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 no! This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. Oh my God, Yosuke! I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Oh my God! <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Yosuke. Hands where I can see you too. I said now. What do we do? But this isn't. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. Oh my God. You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Oh my God. Guys. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. <sighs> Sorry. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. Sorry. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. God damn it! Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Huh? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. So she did disappear. Hey! Yeah. Did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Yeah. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Right. Won't happen again. Sorry.
Oh. Whoa, pardon me. My bad. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yeah. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, <coughs> um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh, no. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. Yeah, I can imagine. By the way, did she say anything to you guys <coughs> about maybe going through some hard times? No. Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Mm hmm Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Hmm? The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Oh. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Are you suspecting her of the murders? Because if not, there's been some <coughs> theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn, the Amagi Inn is what connects everybody, too. But obviously, she, it can't be her because she's in the Midnight Channel. Crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? <sighs> Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with <coughs> civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. I got it right here. He's the coffee errand boy. S forget I said anything, please. You got a, quite a blabber mouth on you. <laughs> Gonna get you in trouble, my man. Oh my god. Such a goof. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Yeah. There you are! There's Chie. Jeez, what are you guys doing? My bad. I've been looking everywhere! Keep it down, please. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? Yes. I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Mm-hmm. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. Yeah. With that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. I mean, do they do they do have a point there, but still what? can't be her. They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Well, they have no other leads and everything's connecting. Two of the victims were staying there. Dude, don't snap at me. No, wait, the the girl wasn't staying there. Ugh. Was she I don't know. The thing I heard about the inn must have been like Amagi. Not Saki. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Mm -hmm. I agree. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her, okay? Right. That's the important thing. Don't tell them to calm down. Just hey, let's let's go back to the main topic. We're gonna save her. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I agree. I'm going to. Hmm? And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Right. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Mm -hmm. Come on, follow me. Okay, and we're off. Ooh. This is nice. Here we are. This looks pretty good. What kind of shop is this? A weapon shop. What else do you think? Uh, metal works, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal craft, like katanas and stuff. Like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? She's a kung fu enthusiast. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... Mm -hmm. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Why would they be talking about that, though? 
That's weird and random. Here, this one looks good. That big ass uh, armor. Might be too heavy. I don't know, oh GA. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but you don't. Oh. You don't know shit about how I feel. You can call my die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that. I... All right. We know you are. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. I don't doubt you. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. Mm -hmm. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right, please. <clears throat> All right. Man, what should we get? I don't hey, know. Mind picking out something for me too? All You're right. Our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I agree. Got it. Five thousand yen from Yosuke. Hey, all right. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You already got your stuff picked out. Damn. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. Yeah. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Mm. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Huh? Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Mm -hmm. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. All right. Have you come to see my art? Please, look around. Take your time. Alright, let's buy some weapons. Imitation katana. Yes, let's equip it. You want to sell the golf club? Yeah. Get some money back. How much is armor? Chain mail. How much does it go up by? Four, I zoom this down. All right, we need a weapon for Broske hunting Nada. Right, so he's gonna be dual wielding. Sell that. Can I sell anything else? Nope. Sell medicine, but nah. All right, thirty-four. Oh. Well, guess. Guess I'm gonna equip it. I can't. Well, that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Oh! The velvet room. There's a bizarre door before you. Seems the others can't see the door. So it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. Sure. The Vava key in your pocket is shining. Let's go. Huh? We have been expecting you. There's the punk girl here. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Are we not going to talk about the punk girl here? But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. Hmm. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, 
is the fusion of personas. Okay, so the you same. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Right. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. I will. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. I have to pull up a um, Persona 4 Fusion Guide. You recall that you have the Magician Social Link with Yosuke. Seems that when a Persona, the Magician Arcana is fused, that Persona will gain even more power. Right. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Oh, we got the Compendium, nice. Registering the Personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Yes. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room who will be helping you on your journey. Hmm. Yeah, I've met her. Hi. <laughs> you have the V of the Velvet Room. Okay. I didn't notice that before. Marie? Her name's Marie. <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Girl seems unfriendly. You feel like you've met her somewhere before. Yes, we have. We've met her two times. I've met you somewhere. Huh? Yeah. Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Met you at the train station. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Oh. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Okay. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Okay. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Hmm? Marie will contact you at a later date. Okay. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. Alright, I'll do just that. <laughs> do you recall my words to you before? Mm hmm The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Yeah. That's where we'll solve this issue. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Well, I was like, didn't I come here with my own will? I'm like, oh no, no, I was summoned. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Farewell, Igor. I'll see you next time. All right, but I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We got quite a bit of stuff. We already know that Yukiko is in there and has a palace what is even going on i still don't even know but i'm excited to find out more but hope you guys have been enjoying these videos if you have please leave a like comment and share that always helps out against that pesky youtube algorithm subscribe to join the moonlight army today hit that bell icon to be notified when i upload a new video if you want to stalk me on my social medias the links will be in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.
Tak 